Sunlam Next, established as a life insurance group in 1918, targeted the Afrikaans community in South Africa initially, but of course has expanded much, much beyond that in recent decades. It has its short-term insurance division called Sun Tum. It's active in estate planning, loans, capital markets, all forms of asset management and insurance. Headquartered in Belleville, what a place in the Western Cape. Sunlum's got a market cap of just shy of 100 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 15.6, dividend yield of 3%. Levan, again, uh, Johan van Sale has done brilliantly here. They didn't have the same global exposure back in the crisis. They kind of stayed home. Now they're tentatively looking at a couple of other markets in Asia and so on. But it's really been a sterling performer right up here in northwards of 40 rand a share. Sunlam has uh, performed in the order of about 585% up since its listing. It demutualized in 1998 right. and has outperformed Old Mutual, which also listed at around the same time. Yep. As you can see, both those stocks have a similar shape on the chart, and that's because they represent what the financial markets look like. Yes. The JSE is on an all time high. So these assurance companies will look very strong. Sunlum's a quite a different business from Old Mutual. I think that they're very robust and they're able to uh, tune into the sensitivities of markets. Mm. I noticed over a couple of market corrections in the last uh, two decades, Sunlum was able to take advantage of low prices. They've also been able to penetrate emerging markets at the bottom. Their mm. timing has been perfect. Recently, they've done a massive acquisition in India and they seem to be channeling a lot of their energy to Asia. Old Mutual seems to favor other markets while still having something of an Asian uh, flavor. Sunlam uh, is a lot stronger in a number of areas, whilst it is still a diverse business. Mm. Uh, when you compare it to the giant Old Mutual, Sunlam seems to look a lot more handsome. And as you point out, the original comparisons were made and Mutual was bigger, then they went global. Perhaps their timing was good. Sunlam stayed at home, did better. Now it's got a hundred billion market cap. Old Mutual is only 140, 150, so they've done a lot of catching up since then. Okay, but as far as their ability to continue aggregating assets, they're well positioned in Africa. They've got the idea that they want to be in that lower end life insurance, funeral insurance type market. There's still lots of people to sell that product to in a burgeoning a middle class in Africa. So perfectly positioned, benefiting from you know, rising equity markets. But here's the key question. If you are already invested in equity markets, do you want to add to your market cyclicality of your portfolio by buying insurance companies? There's a, a, a massive reason why you'd want uh, the likes of Sunlam or Old Mutual or financial services businesses in general. Yep. Uh, whilst uh, they do seem to be topish when markets top, they continue to fly ahead because remember a lot of their income is derived from the activity that built the market higher. Yeah. So as markets continue to go up, these uh, businesses will still show you a quarter later that uh, one quarter or three months after the markets dipped, they'd still be running up on higher income. Okay, but there are cyclical operations, we know that. In summary, again, because we've got to move on, you're happy to give this one a hot at present levels? I'm, I'm hot, even though it's the top of the Hot of this one. Well, I like it too. I'm hot on this one.